All right, so now that we have everything set up, just uh, let's double check that everything is working. In our app delegate, uh, where we have set up our backend less already, uh, let's, uh, let's just write Firebase. And if our library is working correctly, the autofill will start working. So as you can see, we have it. And also we have the backend less here without any errors. So everything is linked. Uh, first thing, uh, we are going to our uh, main storyboard. We are going to set up our uh, application interface. So in our view controller, let's uh, select our view controller. Let's go to our navigator, no, editor, and we are going to say embed in navigation controller. This will clear, create navigation controller for us. Let's just move this up to line up everything nicely. Okay, you can uh, zoom in and out here just by pinching the trackpad. So right now we have created the navigation controller and uh, the, first, uh, the first view that the user will see is going to be a welcome view where a user will be able to register or to log in. Uh, right now we are going to set up the register and login only for the backend less and later on we are going to add the Facebook login as well. So let's, uh, let's open our specter here and we are going to need some buttons. So let's scroll down, get the button we are going to put it right on the bottom drag it all the way to the blue guiding lines the blue guiding lines will help us later on to use the auto layout so let's drag this to the bottom in our size inspector here while we have our button selected we are going to set the height to 50 just drag it up a bit to match the blue guidelines and uh, this button we are going to call login uh, let's give it a nice background color so we come in view the behind the background let's have a blue and uh, actually no let's let's choose something darker dark blue and uh, let's change our text to be white so the text color let's have it white so we have a login button and uh, let's copy this one with ctrl c and command v command c command v uh, we position this above it and this one is going to be our register uh, let's change the background color to something different. Something greeny, dark. Okay, so now we have two buttons. And uh, what we need to do is now to apply some auto layout to this button. So whenever we run our application on different uh, iPhone screen sizes, it will stay the exact place where we want it to be. So let's uh, select the login button. We go down here on our pin, click it. And here we are going to say we want it to be 20 points from the bottom, zero points from left and from the right, and we want to keep the height standard to 50 points. So the width of the button will be dynamic uh, depending from the screen. We say add constraints and as you can see it added some blue guidelines around the button. When we have blue guidelines, uh, blue constraints, it means that everything is perfect. For example, if I move a little bit the button up, you can see we have now orange around it and dotted, uh, dotted uh, lines. So the orange means when we are going to run the application, this button is going to be appearing where the orange dotted box is and not where we see it. So let's return it to its position. 
And let's do the same thing for our register button. We are going to click the pin. And again, from left and from right, we want it to be zero points. The height, we want it standard. And we want it to be the 17 points from the bottom view, which in our case is the login view. And we say add constraints. As you can see, again, we have the blue guidelines. Uh, let's quickly run our application and see if everything is working. It says build succeeded. Let's open the simulator here. <clears throat> so our buttons appear correctly. We can tap them, nothing happens, but uh, the most important thing is uh, the buttons are where we want them to be. So let's close the simulator and actually let's change our simulator. So we are going to run on iOS, uh, iPhone 5S and not the 6S. Uh, to continue, uh, let's go to our view controller here. This uh, file is uh, currently is controlling our welcome view, the one we create now. We can check this by selecting the view and here in a custom class as you can see it's controlled with the view controller which is this class here uh, because I don't like the name view controller let's go and delete this we click move to trash and uh, let's create another view controller we can co say command n or you can go to file new file we are going to select iOS source and it's going to be a Coco touch class we select it click next and uh, we are going to select here a subclass of what uh, class we want it to be since our uh, our file is going to be controlling a view controller we are going to select a UI view controller and we are going to give it a name which is going to be welcome view controller click next it asks where we want to save it in our quick chat project click create and here we have a welcome view controller file now we need to make it the default controller of our view here so we click on our view make sure this blue around it is selected we go to our class and here we say welcome view controller and it's auto fills automatically so just click enter and make sure it stays there sometimes it doesn't stay now that we have this set up uh, let's uh, let's create uh, two more views one will be for login and the other one will be for register so in our uh, menu here bottom we are going to all the way up there is a view controller we just drag one out let's zoom out a bit and set this up nicely we are going to put this half way up and we are going to drag another one align them nicely and let's zoom in back so now we want uh, when we click on register we want it to go to register view which is going to be one on top so in order to do this so it's pretty simple with Xcode just select the button uh, hold down the control key and just drag to the view you want it to go and uh, here we are going to use uh, we, we have an option so of using like uh, uh, you, displaying it like modally or uh, displaying it um, like a push from a button so in this case we are going to use the push so let's control drag it and uh, we are going to say show detail here we have a segue created for us uh, where, which basically what it does is when we click this button it presents the view on top 
same thing we are going to do with the uh, login uh, we are going to set uh, click on login button drag it to our view let it go and this one is going to be push as well so it's um, you can see here in menu is action segue and non adaptive action segue which is the push this is the old names now Apple is using the new names which are the show detail we are going to use and if you click on the segue itself and go to this uh, attribute inspector you can uh, actually see what kind of uh, push this is so uh, while it's selected we can come here and we can change it to push so it's show example like push we want this to be a push segue and the uh, one for the login register is going to be a push segue as well so we select the show push 